Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and today I have a bunch of people online and it's another special episode because I'm fighting something we have never fought before. I am fighting the Dire Morales Urgent Quest. So this is the in between G rank 7 and G rank 8 monster and I have like I said, never fucking fought it, and I have no idea how to fight it, so I'm going to count on these other three who have been with me for all of tonight because I'm currently live streaming, Twitch TV slash SXZeke. I'm going to count on them to be able to actually beat this for me, because <laughs> I, I once tried it solo. It, ki it kicked my ass horribly. Anyways, Dire Morales, as far as I can remember, has pretty much every element damage and kicks your ass all over the place and while it's at it generally seems we will we will rock you you go girl uh, shit i said i wouldn't read the chat while i was live while i was um let's playing anyways just have to wait for my other two partners to start and sort out their stuff i probably also have to sort out my stuff to be honest with you so let's go into here make sure i have pitfall traps stock traps barrel bombs i have some Cortexes I need to deposit apparently. Trank bombs, can you actually capture this? Probably not. Um, sonic bombs I think work for something. Nah, I'm not even gonna take sonic bombs. I'm going to go ahead and take my last mega demon drug, my last mega armor skin. As many ancient and max potions as I can muster, which is a fair amount. Not to mention muster doesn't really make sense because I'm not calling them to arms or anything. I don't I can know. Um, as well as filling up my high potions, take a drink because I forgot to call the max potions fucking again. And then, time to store some items while I'm at it. Zenogre Cortexes. Need those Mega Dash juices, or that Mega Dash juice, I guess. Individual Mega Dash juice instead of several of them. I will keep my paintballs, large barrel bomb pluses. I will also keep... There we go. So I'm ready to go, just waiting on two other people right now. I may have to actually cut a bit of this episode or edit it or download the VOD and, you know, all the normal shit. Cut a tiny bit out. Don't bring traps. Advice has been given, I will take it. So let's store items here again. Apparently I do not need traps of any type. So I will deposit these traps, I will deposit the Trank Bombs, because they will not be needed. I'll take Paintballs just in case. Armor Talon, I need a Power Charm, I need Max Potion, I need Hot Drink. Do I need Hot or Cold Drinks? I don't know. I'm gonna bring Cold Drinks just in case. Now everybody is ready, they just have to accept at the quest counter. And I will bring Cold Drinks just in case I need them, even though I kind of doubt I do. I remember it's in a Lava-E type area. Excellent. Party time, excellent. Guys, guys, ready the quest. Ready it. Anyways, I'll talk to you here a bit, um, pretty much about anything at all. Um, Monster Hunter is back apparently. I was taking a small break because I just got a bit disheartened because I kept failing at Mark of the Hero quest. So I decided I needed to progress, get some good armor, get uh, no cooler hot drinks, lovely. Which will indeed give me room for some extra stuff. So let's store this here. Store the cool drinks. Arrange this. I'm also going to remove Book of Combos 1, Book of Combos 2, two large, three large barrel bombs, and three scatterfish. Wait, barrel bombs are useful. Let's just fucking go. Let's head her. Excellent. So quest loading up, I am very excited about this. I am of course using my poison gun lance. I kind of wish I'd used something else instead, but if I remember this is one of the few elder wyverns, or elder dragons, that you actually can poison and paralyze. So pretty worth taking. I'm surprised I don't need cool drinks for this. This place, this place looks dire, like a Morales. Wait, this is not the monster I actually thought it was. I was thinking Altarian. So I probably should have actually brought a water weapon instead of this, but currently I have no good water gun lances and this has maximum sharpness. So I'm fairly happy with what I have brought. Oh man, this thing. I like its rotating lava heart. 
I have a rotating uh, lava heart. I keep it right under my aqua lung. It's times like this that I am glad that I brought a shield. That's quite the intro movie. I poop lava. Apparently Dire Morales poops the hell out of lava. Ow! That's already so much damage! That is not good. Okay, better start rolling. You can probably see shadows coming down or something. So we have to fight it underwater? It starts out as a water battle? Are you fucking kidding me with this? Let's down this potion. Hopefully it is not trying to target me. Okay, so yeah, we start out fighting it underwater. <laughs> it has the most awesome stubbly legs. It looks like um, Ducky from Land Before Time. I like it. So I don't know what the breakable parts are. I don't know what the strategy is. I don't know what I am doing. And usually the first time I fight something, I have like some people along with me in a talky way that are able to tell me what exactly I am fighting. This time, not so much. Uh oh, uh oh, no. What are you doing? Weapon power is decreased already. Thankfully, I am managing to actually pierce its armor, which I thought would be a problem at first. What's everyone else doing? I don't trust this at all. The fact that I'm the only one currently attacking its belly is making me very nervous. Can I poison this thing? It'd be nice if I could. Anyways, we will eventually figure that out after I've attacked it for long enough and see its head. Unfortunately, it seems to be not moving at all. Huh. Huh. Strange. Apparently, I have checked with the chat. I can break the lava, lava circle thing. Remember, I have actually slotted in part breaker again, which I have actually not told you. But I've slotted in part breaker because evasion didn't seem to be doing me too well. So I have a much easier time breaking things than most people. I'm still underwater. Okay. It's just very surprising to me that such a fiery fight is done underwater. Excellent. And I, and I like that it has like cannons, shoulder cannons. Kind of a fun monster design. I gotta say, ow, I already broke its thing. Can I mine that? Is that what that is? It looks like a mining point, so I'm just thinking. Maybe mining? Apparently the fact that I could get in front of it and attack it constantly was just a fluke. Oh, Jesus, no. No. Well, one of my guys fainted already. Reward has dropped, but that doesn't matter. That is one out of three faints that we can afford. Thankfully, it telegraphs the fuck out of that attack because it looks super fucking powerful and I am still bad against fire. Which is probably not ideal for this fight. Just trying to get some, like, epic action shots going on here. That didn't hit me? Okay. I'm good with that. Might want to actually do a wyvern fire. Unfortunately, wyvern fire is always fire element damage. And so is being run the fuck over by a dire morales. Let's down a potion right away. Fortunately, it seems too big to actually focus on me. So if I down a couple of mega potions and sharpen up, it's unlikely to hit me. Either that or it's just focused on other people right now. You want to stick to white sharpness, get that 1.32 times multiplier, I'm fairly certain it is. <laughs> Excellent. Now I just wish I could see its front. I think they're currently attacking its face. Most of them appear to be up on land. I'm thinking I might as well join them as I don't know what I'm doing and I'm assuming they do know what they're doing. Oh, they're like dragon it. Ah, there we go. It is now on land. Defender high proc just in time for me not to take too much damage there. And ow, that quite hurt. Fortunately in this fight it's very easy to put fires out because there's just so much water hanging around everywhere. Arrowware. Wanted down another mega potion already. I'm going to be running out of these mega potions fairly quick here. I don't know if there's an actual Dragonator in this. I'd assume there would be one on the Dragon Boat somewhere. You're being kind of a pain in the ass, guy. I think they just pinged the Dragonator. Let's see. So that was blue ping. Caleb has pinged, so they're... I think there is a Dragonator, or at least something to gather. Ow! Okay need to mega potion up. 
I do also have Ancient Potion, which I'm gonna down instead because I'm lazy that way. And I'll see what they've been chatting at me. You have two Dragonators, yes, okay. Lovely. You guys can Dragonate for me because I don't know when or where to Dragonate. Remember, it's always better to crouch before you gather as it skips a part of the step and makes you gather much faster. So hopefully he's currently focused on other people. Oh, Jesus, Caleb's just defending the shit out of me. This is just first aid meds. I'm going to leave and let Caleb get on with his life. Yeah, there is one Dragonator there, so I'm assuming we're trying to lead it to the Dragonator. Or maybe that's only for when it's in the water. So if I'm correct, the Dragonator is right here. Yes, indeed. Have max potions, don't want to use them. Gonna use a Mega Potion, and lovely. So basically just gonna put my shields up and try to let them deal with doing damage. It seems to be getting closer and closer to the Dragonator and that did way more damage than it looked like it should do. Ow, that hurt quite a lot. I'm assuming that this dragon probably gives something really awesome with its armor set like like Handicraft, which will actually increase your sharpness level. Let's temporarily go down. You know what this monster actually reminds me of? Other than um, the thing from Land Before Time. It kind of reminds me of um, Gai er, Kaijins? Kaijus? From the, from the Pacific Rim movie. Although I'll admit that movie wasn't very good. It was very entertaining in terms of giant monster combat. Did get a lot of damage off on its middle segment. And again, that is damage with Partbreaker on, so worth more than your average bear. Ow, okay, that hit me and I don't know how. You other hit me's can't deny. Need to actually kind of roll in this water just to put the fire out. Should have also brought honey on this quest, but that is perfectly all right with me. I'm going to make sure I am up close and personal because there's no point of being anywhere else, really. Is everybody up here attacking it? Yeah. Good, good. Hmm. Yeah, as far as I can tell, you cannot poison it. So it was kind of a waste for me to bring this gun lance. It would have been better off just with a water gun lance. As water is quite good. And I think we knocked it over there. Yes, we did. I'm on the wrong side, unfortunately, so I'm just going to do what I can against whatever the fuck part of its body this is. Let's do a quick reload here. And keep unloading for maximum damage. Remember, if you hop, you can reload again right after. Apparently, you can poison, but it has really high resistance. So ho the hopefully my elemental plus two will actually lead to it being poisoned in the future. Now, I can tell it is almost in range of the Dragonator. Should we be luring it, guys? Just out of curiosity? Hmm. So it is now just ejecting lava everywhere. I was very lucky to dodge that because I wasn't trying at all. But I think more important than dodging right now is probably getting the fuck out of the way. Okay, I'm currently on fire. I'm going to need to heal a tiny bit. Last Mega Potion, unfortunately. I guess that should have brought honey on this quest. And then I'll do a quick sharpening. Lovely. And it is still reared up, so you can't break that middle part, which I was told you can break yet. I'm assuming you can also cut off its tail, but it looks like a couple of its tails are mining points. What are you giving me? Mega Potions, thank you very much. Does it have to be knocked over for you to mine it? It looks so much like a mining point. I'm not sure why I'm insisting it's a mining point. It's gonna come down soon. No, get me out of the way. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You can always tell where the boulders are gonna hit by the red mark on the ground. I think it'd make a bit more sense for a shadow, but I guess these things would light up the way a tiny bit. Yeah, don't worry about me too much, guys, If I, even if I sound desperate for potions. it's I'm mainly a survivor in this game. I tend to be cautious and survival -y. Oh, it didn't hit. It just hit me enough to light me on fire. That is awful. 
Excellent. Get this done. Unload and jump out of the way in case something crazy happens. I can also do a wyvern fire and I might as well hit the tail. I'm assuming tail's not the best place to hit that. That looks hard as shit, but... Better than not hitting it anywhere. I love those arm cannons it has. <laughs> For some reason, it is really selling me on the, you know, not so good design. I have not yet downed my Mega Demon Drug or my Mega Armor skin, which is kind of a mistake. Oh, well. Again, I'd like to mention that the music in this game, awesome as always for every boss fight. I'm assuming we are actually supposed to be luring it over to Dragonators, I just don't know how or where they are. I'm assuming the other one is by that sunken ship. But while it's underwater, I want to attack its middle segment and try to break it. Because as you know, part breaks actually do give bonus damage. So it's worth breaking every possible part to break, even if you're not after the part that it breaks gives you. Jesus. That was quite the sentence. I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Well, unload on its leg, and do the complete opposite of what I say, and don't go for that molten spot on its belly. Molten belly spot, also the name of my, um, I don't know, alternative rock group? Punk rock? Molten Belly Spot. What type of band would that be? I, I have a much harder time than NL does coming up with those bands on the spot. Let's go ahead and head forward. What are you pinging me for? You'll have to actually chat it to me because uh, the ping, as far as I can tell, came from nowhere. Ah, he wants to Dragonate. So let's all head over here and try to lure it to the Dragonator. It'll happen... It'll come eventually, I think. Ballista ammo, it is now coming quite close. Somebody dragonate the shit out of it. Okay. <laughs> Gonna get my own set of ballista ammo and kind of shoot at it from afar now that I am down here. Ow, that really hurt. Down a mega potion really quick here. I don't actually want to leave the water or ballista it until I have broken that center part though. I understand that ballistas do a ton of damage, but at this point, I think more directed damage is probably better for the part break. I'm going to need to down another Mega Potion. Remember, we only have one free death left, and I really don't want that to be me. Let's get the fuck over here. Is it falling over? It's falling over, and it's falling over towards me. That is perfect. I could have charged it, but I wouldn't have trusted it to stay on course. Stay on target. Stay on target. No, they're coming in too fast. Ah, still not broken. Ow! I really wasn't expecting it to water current me there. I would heal everybody if I could, but I forgot to bring my crazy sized life powders, which I do get from free hunting nowadays. If you free hunt high rank at nighttime, you can get life powders that are much better than life powders, so they're kind of like the high potion of life powders. Unfortunately, there's no way to make them reliably. You have to get them through harvesting. Let's get a couple belly shots up here. Yes. Wyvern fire hit. Fortunately, it seems to be completely ignoring the fact that I'm right in front of it, just jabbing it constantly. Which doesn't seem like too smart of a decision, in my opinion. Wasn't quite facing its face while it roared there, so I didn't get the block off. And I think we did break its middle section. Yes, we did. Yeah. We are the champions. I think we have broken its left arm, but not its right arm, if I'm any judge of the looks of broken versus non-broken in this game. I am going to need a quick sharpening up here. And I have all these barrel bombs plus and these, yeah, large barrel bombs that I would like to place at some point. Maybe next time it has fallen over. Have we broken one of its wings? I think we have as well. Maybe even right now. It doesn't move too much. You know, I'm just gonna place it all here and... Oh, shit. It is way the fuck out. And we broke its other wing. Um, that was entirely not on me, though, because I didn't even know its wings were breakable parts. Lovely, double large barrel bomb hit. And let's get its left arm now. Or, yeah, left arm. <laughs> Just making sure I got my lefts and rights correct. Always something worth doing. 
I'm pretty sure I'm hitting his left arm just by the fact that it's still lava-y, and apparently where it's broken is not lava-y. Lovely. Death. Death and despair. Weapon power has decreased. Um, back to blue sharpness. I'm really thinking it's about time I sharpened up again, even though I just sharpened. Want to keep that multiplier up like I was saying? I'd like to also lure it back onto land so we can dragonate it a second time. Oh, and I have actually managed to poison it. Awesome, I see, I see those little poisony dots. I'm a champion of poison. I'm a poison champion. I'm a poisson champion. I'm a mushroom champion. Somebody in the chat, I hate to call in the chat while I'm actually recording an episode of a Let's Play, but please tell me exactly where where its weak point is because I'm going to start going all ballista on it. Also, not to mention I have the chat up in the stream, which I really don't didn't actually want to do. That's all right. This thing has nine carves. <laughs> that is nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the Dragonator over here, and I'm going to lure it over by actually working on the Ballista. Now, I'm not sure if I got all the Ballista ammo possible or if there's several locations. Stamina depletion has resumed. Um, the lava parts, the mining spot. Ah, uh, is this weak point? Remember, several people can actually use the Ballista at once. So you want to just kind of have everybody possible on it. Now I ran out of ammo. That is all right. It is looking pretty fucking weak right now. Let's go ahead and reload. And I'm going to try to go to its mining spot and wyvern fire the shit out of it. Because I think I should have another wyvern fire ready at this point. I do indeed. This will not... Oh, it roared. What a dick. They want me back over at the ballista. I don't blame them, but I want this wyvern fire off first. Because wyvern fire does lots of damage. And then I will run back. Try to get the secondary ballista up. Excellent. So I do want to head back over here. I also want to find a gathering point. I'm really lucky that Defender High procced there, actually. Because if not, I would have probably taken a metric fuck ton of damage. Gonna start downing my regular potions, though. We're just waiting on this. I really wish I had range right now. Because this isn't at a very good angle. Maybe there's some gathering points up front here? No, but it does seem to be coming towards... Oh. Come on, Dire Morales. Just one more little lunge. Not in that direction, in this direction. Come on. So close. We just need you to get on top of the fuck me spike. Oh, that counted? Cool. So just gonna get under it and start attacking the shit out of it. Apparently it has nine carves in different places, so I'm gonna have to kind of wander around and hope that I get all nine. And kill completed. So I'm gonna, of course, show you guys the rewards and carves. Sorry for having the little indicator on the bottom right. I did not mean to have the chat up, but, you know, shit happens. I'm gonna start by carving where I currently am. And then I'm going to head over to the face where I'm fairly certain the rest of the carves are. Gushing magma. Sounds pretty damn intense. Morales scale, and then they seem to run to the face, so... And then uh, two of them are hanging out over in that direction. So I'm going to head over there and see if there's any more carves on it. Tail two. Lovely. So some of these Elder Wyverns are really hard to get all the carves off. Thankfully, I ended up right underneath it. Unfortunately, I don't seem to know where its tail is. Oh, there we go. Got it. Morales fire back. Oh, and I didn't get them all. I probably should have crouched while gathering there, but it was a fairly successful episode anyway, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. After I show you guys this. Elder Dragonblood, Scale, a Smelter, Adamant, Enduring, Heavy Armor, Immortal Heart, Morales Heartwing, and Smelter.
Anyways, I keep forgetting there's more to do before ending the episode. Fencing and dragon resist, two slots, not interested. There we go. <laughs> Later.